This is something that's been bugging me for a long time, especially as we talk about very soon we're gonna be getting in autonomous cars. The hardware and software is so far ahead of everything else that it's gonna feel like we're in the future, but yet we're gonna come home and we're gonna still have to do some things that we shouldn't be doing. I'll tell you why we're doing those things and I'll tell you why it's related to this light bulb. Not this light bulb, but a light bulb. First thing is losing golf balls. There's electronics in everything. And yet I still go out and I lose two, three, four, five golf balls every round. And I know I can get within probably 20 feet. It's either behind a rock or under a leaf or in a hole or something. I know where it is, but I just can't find it. That should not be happening in this day and age. I know that you can track a golf ball because the company I work for made a smart cricket ball that they designed to act just like a regular cricket ball, it has electronics in it, battery, Bluetooth radio, and accelerometers in it that can measure the spin and everything like that, and a wireless power chip. And what the wireless power chip does is it takes 2.4, since this is all sealed up and you can't have ports on it anywhere, it takes 2.4 megahertz wireless up through the ball and charges up that battery enough for it to play a match and send out all the data that they need in real time. And this ball was actually used in the Caribbean League very recently, so it is possible. The guy that started this wanted to do it with golf balls, except guess what? No golf ball company was interested in it because they want to lose golf balls. Because the more golf balls that get lost is the more sales they get. 1925, all the light bulb manufacturers in the world decided that the filaments were lasting too long and they weren't going to be able to sell as many light bulbs if the technology inside the light bulb kept improving. So they all band together and they decided to make a standard life bulb, I think 1,000 or 1,500 hours before it burned out. And they actually had to send bulbs from all over the world, send them in, they were tested, and if they lasted too long, the company would be fine. This was the first evidence of planned obsolescence. And you can find that in almost... Well, not almost everything in a lot of companies these days where they're still kind of hedging their bets, making a product that's good, but not the best it needs to be because they want to resell it. Second has to do with laundry. Like, why do we still have a washer and a dryer? Why am I like an 18th century person taking a big kind of wet load of stuff out of one machine and, and actually transferring it over to another one? It seems just so archaic, especially, you know, in, in terms of people going to space and everything else. Europe has washer dryer combos. Our dishwasher does the same thing, washing and drying. But we've gotten so used to getting sold two things instead of one. And if the washer dropped it into a dryer or spun it over to the other dryer, like I just don't understand how we still have to take wet clothes and put it into the dryer. Those things are going to absolutely drive me crazy when I walk out of my house, get in a car, and it just drives me without a driver. Still gonna have to go back and do a ton of different things that shouldn't be happening, but are because of some companies decided to not improve their product, which is where they get in trouble, kind of like Igloo and, and Coleman, when they didn't really want to improve their coolers anymore. Someone else comes along, like a Yeti, insulates the, the area, of air that they have in between the, the plastics and it makes a better cooler. Someone will make a golf ball that's trackable and then they're going to take the market share and they should because that's for the consumer. I, I hope this was a little bit interesting, a little bit different than the tech stuff I do, but I, I really just wanted to get that out there. If you like it, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of things coming up, more videos. Um, subscribe, hit like, and uh, thank you for all your support.